Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Arkham Origins. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look at this wall here. As you can see, here's, uh, these are Batman's previous cases. This is when he first starts off. This is about the Maronis and the Falcons. Uh, this one's his second case, uh, investigating the masked Red Hood. Uh, Red Hood's important. He's going to come up again later. And the third case here is Calendar Man, who uh, was just about to be executed and was rescued by uh, uh, Black Mask. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, Batman's just getting started out. These are his first cases. If you want to know more about the crime families, the Marones and the Falcones, that's enough, Alfred. Be quiet. I'm trying to explain things here. Uh, if you're more interested in them, uh, I do suggest checking out really any Batman origin story. There's, uh, of course, the live action Batman Begins along with the uh, Batman Gotham Knights. Uh, let's take a quick look at the costumes here. We can't use these until we finish the main story, which is why I'm going to be pretty much plowing my way through the main story so that I can play with these a little bit. But you can check them out. We've got uh, Blackest Night Batman and one of the Black Lanterns, right, uh, from the comics. Doesn't look too bad. Nightfall Batman, this is uh, supposed to be Azazel in his costume. Long Halloween Batman. Uh, Red Sun is a Russian rebel. Gotham by Gaslight, that's an animated feature you can watch if you like. Classic TV Batman, one of my personal favorites. New 52, it's his uh, new outfit. Batman Noel, I have no idea where it's from. <laughs> Batman 1 million, I also don't know anything about that. Uh, Night of the Round Tables, another alternate universe. Uh, Thrill Killer Batman, I don't know anything about. Uh, first appearance, this of course it's a retro costume. Uh, Brightest Day, that's the White Lantern, Earth 2, Batman, and uh, Earth 2, Dark Knight, which I believe are two separate characters. I just don't know which is which. And that's the costume. You can't use them until later, uh, but they are there. Um, but yeah, and it, you can watch uh, Batman Begins and Gotham Knights. Conversely, you can watch... Um, and we're going to take the... Sir, to make your travels quick point easier, here. I went ahead and set up some auto nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. Continuing uh, our mission, we have to investigate this radio tower and why it's jamming our signals, which is, of course, a little story unto itself. Uh, as I was saying, I keep getting interrupted, and that's why live commentary is difficult. <laughs> this is post, and it's still hard to squeeze stuff in. The other alternative to Batman Begins at Gotham Knights is Year One, either the animated feature or the comic. Let's check out what's going on here. <laughs> what the? Uh, more the shadow play. I love that stuff. You seeing this? What the hell is it? I am messing around. Move it. I should use my smoke pellets here. Thank God for smoke bombs. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. I'll cover you. This is a tutorial section right here. Attacking head on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. So yeah, we're gonna do our first inverted takedown. We were answering a service call. That's it. You better not be lying. I like to hang upside down first. It's a little more at the back. Show yourself. I'm Batman. I quit. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's a lot of fun playing this Batman. It really is. Uh, we've got a few more people to take out in a few different ways. It's all a lot of fun. But it is a little tutorial section, just you know, showing you how to get around and how to do what. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Uh, we're gonna try talking to this guy. It doesn't work, and then we'll take that very obvious. Uh, I can sneak up on the hostage. Vent here. By crawling through the vent. Sorry, I forgot words. But yeah, Batman Year One is kind of the original Batman origin, uh, aside from like the classic Golden Age comics. Uh, what happened was uh, it's the guy that hired us. You piss him take off or something. Way. Takedowns are fun, but they are noisy uh, unless it says silent takedown. 
Yeah, people, if there were other enemies Get nearby, would have heard that. And call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Um, okay. I yeah, will. Frank Miller did uh, Dark Knight this Returns, which has also been call. adapted into Fix an animated feature. Um, <clears throat> as well as the inspiration for a lot of newer Batman movies. Uh, and it was so popular that at the time that they were rebooting the DC Universe, including Batman. So here we could take this guy out, another classic fun uh, takedown. Right to the wall. Sweet. I love that one. Um, but it was so popular that they decided can, to use Frank Miller to do Whatever the Batman want, reboot post-crisis. And uh, oh, so he wrote Year One, safety. which of course was, became the definitive Batman that uh, pretty much everything that came after was. Uh, Tim Burton's Batman was originally supposed to be an adaptation of uh, the Year One book. Of course, they used a lot of the elements in Batman Begins as well, and even in this universe as well. So it fits just about everything. It's not a perfect fit. It's not technically Arkhamverse. And we got one more dramatic takedown here we can do, which is a lot of fun. Alleged takedown. You could do a takedown from just about any position, as long as the enemy doesn't notice you. Uh, but like I said, any takedown that isn't a silent takedown is going to make noise, so just be careful of that. Um, so where was I? Oh yeah, they. Uh, so year one fits, and it's a good fit. Uh, whether you want to go with the comic or the, the original book. Now, uh, the book did, was followed up by two sequels, The Long Halloween tower malfunction is from storm damage. and Dark Victory, set up a crime scene and find out what happened. which also expand a lot. Start by this is our first investigation. Uh, they added this forensic mode uh, specifically to this one. They had similar but simpler versions in previous games, uh, but this one was the first one that allowed us to reconstruct the scene. David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. So this was a lot of fun to do. As you can see here, it is reconstructing the event. People liked it so much that they brought it into Arkham Knight. Even though it was, this was Impact developed by a different studio. Indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired, and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And, hmm, uh, that's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. And this is how you solve crimes in Arkham Knight and Arkham Asylum. You can already see where the red trail's going. Just gotta wait for it to confirm, and there you go. You can now remove this event cover and scan the card. He does a quiet removal for some reason. Usually he just tosses it. Rips and tears. I think Batman might be a distant relation to Doom Guy. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. And time to hackers, I like to say Time to play a little PlayStation Portable in our Batman game. At least that's what it always reminds me of. You could say a Vita if you want. But it's the only handheld with dual analog, so... Take from that what you will. But we're just starting this part. Um, so yeah, Dark Victory and Long Halloween are sequels to Year One. And also very good books, but um, they don't fit in continuity with these games. So that's just one thing you might want to keep in mind. Contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Uh, technically year one doesn't, but it's pretty close. So you can squeeze that one in if you like. So watch year one, play this game. It's all good. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? 
Think of me as a great big mystery, one you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. So yes, that's obviously uh, the Riddler, though at this time he's still only known as Edward Enigma. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. Now, as in the other Arkham games, uh, Enigma is the source of the secrets. Of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. So, yeah, at 100% the game, you have to do all of Riddler's. Uh, side quests, which will include collecting data, intel, and destroying uh, surveillance devices and all that. Um, here we get our dramatic view of the city. Our first time we'll be able to actually pre-roll. We just have to head over to Jezebel Plaza, so you guys will get to see how uh, gliding works in these games. Uh, it's been fine-tuned a bit over the years, but it's all good. Took me a minute to get used to it <laughs> again. Uh, it's been a while since I played, plus my controller, not the most reliable. The X button, like I said, isn't working properly. And uh, I'm doing a grapnel boost there if you double tap X. And uh, while grappling, it'll shoot you up and over and give you some momentum. So that's how you, uh, you glide around the whole city. Uh, the other mistake I made was getting onto this bridge here. I should have just flown alongside it and I would have been able to continue gliding. The game's very fickle about what you can and cannot grapple. And uh, there's a little event here you can do which I'm not going to do because right now I'm just looking for where I'm supposed to go. Because uh, it didn't make sense to me at the time to have to cross the damn bridge. That's a long way to go but uh, you actually do. You have to cross the bridge. Um, so yeah, that's our destination. A ways off. Um, Oh, nice talk progress that you can stop. This is a little riot going on down there, but I just ignored it because I'm more interested in completing the story quest at the moment and uh, stopping to just beat up some thugs isn't necessary. Yeah, he's talking about his grapnel accelerator, but I've been using it to try and increase our range, and that's how it works. All right, uh, but yeah, the controller has was giving me issues. I have replaced it now. I got two new controllers. They seem to be working just fine. A little flimsy, so I don't know how they'll work long term, but for now, they'll definitely do. I hope uh, you'll try to keep a low profile tonight, sir. Trust me, I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. It's not just that. If some curious child looks out to see who's pattering across their rooftop, they'll expect Santa Claus, not a black-clad bat creature. I don't patter. Yeah, the stopping and starting a lot that you see me doing is, uh, like that. Is an example of that X button not working right, so luckily that I'm packing that controller away. In the future it won't be such an issue. I, I picked kind of a bad angle here, because this factory over here is actually a barrier, and, uh, you can't interact with it, you can't grapple to anything, so, uh, it's a dead end, and it forced me to, to try to dive glide my way through which was a little a little slower than I liked um so yeah this is gliding and I, and I got stuck here the, the grapnel boost didn't it just didn't work <laughs> it's not a perfect game guys it's got a little a few tricky parts to it um and I just saw I was like oh there's a thing over there like should I get it and I figured to myself nah why bother Let's just uh, keep going and grab the boost and get higher from here. Um, so yeah, if you want, you can watch 
year one or Batman Begins to give yourself kind of a Batman origin. Uh, I have two disappointments with this game ultimately. One is there was no HD re-release, which we really needed. And two, um, it was the only one. <laughs> there was supposed to be a sequel to it, uh, an Origins 2. And there's certainly plenty of material that they could have gone off to make a, a sequel. And they just didn't. They, uh, they stopped it here. So, uh, which was really disappointing at the time as a fan. Because I liked it, and I liked the idea of kind of telling Batman's origins and his mythos. Uh, you know, whereas the original game has just kind of picked up where the comics were. And just went with its own thing, you know? Which is fine. But, uh, it's all interesting stories. They did a fantastic job adapting it all. So this is Jezebel Plot. And I landed here at street level by accident. Uh, but that's just how bad my aim is. <laughs> Yeah, you have to hop down before it'll trigger the event. Looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait, I already know. Now, let's see if you've been naughty or. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. Time for a beat em up segment. I usually take a minute to scout them out because there's usually one who's a little more dangerous. In this case, the guy with the gun. We're going to want to target him first. Now he's going to drop the gun and somebody else can pick it up. They won't keep the guns except for predator segments, which we, uh, which we did the tutorial of not that long ago, but we haven't done a proper section. So I, I like to use smoke pellets. They're just an easy way of getting things rolling. And we'll see how I fare without the hints. So, like I said, no, I'm getting attacked indicators here. I'm just freestyling it with a, a less than ideal controller. But it actually, the controller does fine for the most part for combat. So not too shabby so far. Oh, you got me. Like I said, the uh, turning off the hints adds just enough difficulty for me uh, to keep things really interesting. Um, yeah, this is, uh, the free flow combat that Arkham invented has been copied a few times, but honestly, I don't think enough, because, uh, this kind of combat's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of potential to expand and, and, you know, make it your own, and we've already beaten up those guys. Nope, not too many problems there. Stop. Where's the penguin? I don't know. Where is he? I swear. Damn. Oops. Wake up. What happened? <laughs> Time to talk. Where is Cobblepot? Let me go! If you insist. Please, stop. Stop! I'll talk. I'll tell you anything you want to know, please! Too late. I already have what I need. No! <laughs> if I can read this SIM card, I may be able I to play PSP. Oh crap, what's this? Alfred, I'm 
getting interference on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto nerf systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the Penguin. Yeah, so before we can continue our quest, we have to take out the next tower. Stand by for status update on potential assignment. Um, so yeah, uh, the point I was trying to make though was that the this these games were the first in a long time that I felt like were just a really good beat 'em up, you know, a modern equivalent of, equivalent of a beat 'em up. I love beat 'em up games back in the day, uh, but we don't really have stuff like that anymore. You know, like pure action games kind of died out uh, when Devil May Cry and, and God of War uh, disappeared for a while, and even when. God of War came back, it's still very much a, uh, it's a completely different game now. It's not an action beat em up anymore. It's a Dark Souls type game. Uh, which really isn't the same thing. So I got another little beat em up segment to do. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, take out another guy with an instant takedown. Counter attack. Good times. Good times. Um,. So yeah, even though it was copied a lot back in the day, I was kind of hoping there'd be more. And people would be more imaginative with it. You know, the copies were pretty much just copies. You know, they didn't really do much to improve on it or you know, alter it in any significant way. And it would have been nice if they had. So it's a shame that the whole... Because we, we don't have, like, modern, like, kung fu games, you know? There's fighting games, but that's about it. And this was the closest we'd come. And uh, nobody's really replicated that properly or, or expanded upon it properly it works great for batman but it'd be really nice to see some you know have some fun kung fu games to play that weren't just fighting games like street fighter or mortal kombat and of course i forgot that they inverted the flight mechanics so uh i screwed that up <laughs> but second time's a charm all right um yeah we'll disable this tower and then we'll be able to move on eventually we'll disable all the towers and uh, we'll hit Enigma's headquarters. But I'm not going to actually solve all the riddles, uh, collect all the secrets, because that's just going to take an obnoxiously long time. And the reward, I already know, really isn't worth it. So uh, I'm going to do a quick level up here because it's going to stay on the screen until it bugs me. And I'm just going to go through these real quick and try to figure out which ones I actually want, uh, which ones are unlocked so that I can get them. And, uh, and I'll settle on something eventually. Um, so yeah, and the fact that this game was never remastered and they didn't make any more are my only you know, real disappointments in it. Nicely, I'd have opened it for you. But there's still a lot of fun to play. All five of them, and yes, there's five. <laughs> the little, uh, little often overlooked Arkham Origins Blackgate is another Maybe game that we'll be playing. Been led to Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct, I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied it. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. A slight pretentious he is, yes. <laughs> now well, there's always been a fun character. Card I took from that arms dealer and hacked Penguin's communications. Oh, thank God. The Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. Okay, I also wanted to apologize for this video taking so long. Uh, the recordings are coming out very good so far. I have a bunch more footage yet to work on. But, um, 
it's definitely coming along. It's, uh, it just took me a while to actually get around to doing this commentary. Because, uh, well, you know, life gets in the way. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, there's Ace Chemicals there. We passed by that earlier. It's an important location in the Batman mythos. But, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Um. Or, yeah, it just took me a while to get around to making these. Hopefully I'll be able to get back on the wagon pretty easily and without too much trouble. <laughs> yeah, the Batman is still a bit of a myth uh, among the populace. Uh, of course, we got more people up here, and I'm like, oh crap, I guess I'll take them out so that I can properly take the other guys out. And then there wind up being a few more than I thought. So, uh, took one out with a silent takedown. I was going to get the rest of them. But, uh, I got spotted somewhere around here. Okay, and I noticed this pipe. There's, uh... I need a special grenade before I can take care of that pipe. So yeah, they noticed me. So I just might as well just beat them up. Beat them up time, Batman. Yeah, Batman's got a no-kill card. That's his favorite thing. Right? Like, that's his line. He never crosses. He's one rule. Uh, but he hurts these guys awful bad. So, you know, it's, it makes you wonder. Is you know what's what's Batman's deal? Does he just like hurting people, maybe? Because you know, if you think about it, like if he maimed a few of these guys. It would probably go a long way, not just for keeping them from coming back, but people from seeing it from coming back too, or who even know of it. You know, who's gonna to fight a guy who might cripple you for life? Um, it also means he'll never, he'll never be able to attack you again. But um, he doesn't do that. He just hurts them, you know, and they can always recover. And then they get back into current crime, and he beats them up again, and you know, broken bones and torn ligaments all over. And it seems almost like he just enjoys hurting people with it, you know, like, uh, and not, not to employ, like, killing shouldn't necessarily be the answer. This is, of course, a fictional universe. It's kind of hard to argue one way or another about that. But, um, like I said, you make a few examples, and it might be enough to <laughs> discredit so many from coming back. But, of course, in terms of, you know, video games and comic books, even films, it's it's uh, just fine to do it this way because you want everyone to come back. You know, you want to be able to have repeat villains, and so that you can use them again. Otherwise, you're throwing away a, a literary device, you know, and you have to come up with new villains all the time, which would be really hard to do. There we go, dramatic finisher. Very nice, very nice. And uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good with the free flow combat so far, even with the gimpy controller. We got some more data to download. And then we find the next point. Pretty simple stuff. Simple approach. The Batman! You expect me to believe that? Listen. I need to find the next comm station. The then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Get messed with our shipment. And saving his own arms. So next time you want to make up a story, you better hope the person you're telling it to is dumber than you are. Oh, wait. That's right. There ain't no one dumber than you! Mr. Cobblepot, I swear it was the bat. He dropped Ricky off the roof of the clock tower straight into the Christmas tree. I don't care what you think you saw. If you're not back here with my money in the next ten days, I'll cut your damn eyeballs out. And then you won't have to worry about seeing nothing ever again. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. Penguin is quite cruel, as one would expect. <laughs> so yeah, we'll finish this part, and then shortly thereafter we'll probably wrap up this video, because uh, there's a lot of footage here. I didn't expect to be thrown into uh, so close to the industrial area here. There's lots of baddies here, and they're armed. So we got a little predator segment here, where the objective is to kind of stealth kill everybody. And uh, I also noticed the intel packet there that I can access. And we've got another Intel device there as well. So the obvious thing is to land on this crate here, the shipping crate. And uh, we can get a closer view of things. That's not so out of focus. And we can see our targets there. Just kind of scattered around, taking their time. Nothing major. 
They're, they're far enough apart that it shouldn't be a problem for us. First, I decided to take care of this intel packet. I'm not going to collect all the packets. Uh, the reward for doing that in this game really isn't worth it. Um, it's really dumb. Some other games, uh, the rewards worth it or kind of worth it, but in this one, it's kind of hard to argue against uh, how dumb it is. Yeah, we get to these more difficult uh, word puzzles. They'll have uh, they'll be a little harder to solve. It's like a, it's a word scramble, you know. Got to get it right. And that should open that, and we'll take that by hand. An Enigma extortion file. Looks like it's part of a larger set. I can collect it. And uh, the bastard saw me. I used a smoke bomb. And what I didn't expect was that the fuckers still see me. And they still see me. <laughs> and so, yeah, I busted this pretty bad. Uh, I shouldn't have gone for that pack at first. And that smoke bomb should have kept them from seeing me. I don't know why. It just didn't work. I had to get so far away that it was impossible for them to line up a shot. And they're actually, they're still watching me because I decided to jump to this roof and bugger shot me again. Uh, they, sh they can't see me from up there, so that shouldn't even be a thing. Uh, but that's, you know, they got me. <laughs> so, so I've got them all alerted now. Uh, they're going to up their patrols and uh, be slightly harder to take to deal with. But such is, you know, it's human error. You gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. Um, there's no manual saving, I think, in this game, so it's not like you can just reload the scenario and go in quiet. But I usually do manage to take these guys out without getting spotted once, so getting caught like that, uh, that kind of sucked. <laughs> there's a guy patrolling down there, but we got another uh, shipping crate we can stand on. So I decided to quietly land on that. Probably lucky he didn't see me, since the other one spotted me when I was higher up. Um, but such as it is, you can do a knockout smash, but that makes noise. So, uh, until you get to the last guy, save that knockout smash. Otherwise, just do silent takedowns. Uh, you can stick to cover. There are cover takedowns, corner takedowns, as it were. Uh, I thought I had an opening there, but he started coming back. And then I noticed both of them are coming at me, so <laughs> I'm like, just, just please don't see me. <laughs> My pathetic attempt at hiding, I should have gone back around the container or something, but, um, I, you know, I couldn't help but screw this one up again. He's coming. I was hoping he was going to stop and turn around, and, uh, he saw what I did to the other guy, so I was like, screw it, let's just finish him, and when I got him, I was like, well, hell, there's one left, so I might as well just walk around and wait for him to turn and then take him out. And he wound up coming straight for me anyway, so I just said, alright. I still managed to miss. <laughs> eh, not the uh, best show I put on there, but, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I figured while I'm here, I might as well take out this uh, surveillance device. Whatever if you throw with... Uh, R1 instead of R2, it'll, the camera will follow it like that. But yeah, you're supposed to destroy all those surveillance devices, collect all the intel packets, and that's how you solve the Riddler's riddles. So now we're going to collect this, scan our last uh, communication point, which is actually going to give us the, lo the location of Penguin's hideout. Alright everyone, listen up. I know I ought to cancel our annual boiler deck fights after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza. But just there to show you what a nice guy I am, offer. the fights are still on. So get yourself down to the ship right now if you want in on this. I'll make my own been hiding out on an old ship. No wonder he's been so well, That's the end of the episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll see you. Take it easy.